Hey guys, Eagles here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to pack a lightweight gas mask. This is my lightweight gas mask and gas mask bag. Uh, it is a late war bag. Uh, as you can tell, it is all OD7. However, that's not how you can tell a late war bag from a earlier one. Uh, I, I haven't really checked for dates on here yet, but... The way you can tell it's a later war uh, bag and mask is if it's gray, gray means later. The black one, bl uh, a black mask is earlier in the war. And also, as if on the strap, as if on the strap, it has two of these hooks and another D ring rather than it being sewn on. The earlier ones, from my understanding, were sewn on. I have a early one, but it has been modified. Uh, somewhere in my piles of stuff. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. There was just one sewn on to the D-ring. Rather than uh, there being two clips like that. So anyway, you're going to have your gas mask. Your lightweight. It should already be you should have the, the canister connected to the uh, thing on the inside. That is very important that it is done on the inside. And then there's on the corner, there should be, it's, yeah, it's this side. Uh, lighting is really bad. On the very bottom back there, you can't see it. Let me try and bring it into the light. But you will have a thing for your dimming cloth, and your dimming cloth will go ahead and sit in there. And now, uh, for your mask, you're gonna want it to, you're gonna want this, the tube to snake around in the front kind of area, and then the mask is gonna sit on top of the canister, like that, right? But we're not worried about that right now, we're worried about the pockets. This is hard to do with one hand, so bear with me. So, the pockets from left to right, these are what's going to be contained in it. You're going to have three uh, protective covers for the gas capes, three of them total. Two sealed, and then one already opened. Uh, in the event that gas were to be used, you can just, you know, you're not wasting time, you just throw it on. Uh, since this is a later war, the M5 ointment then the eyeball is also inside of that. And then your gas card, and then a gas absard. So, starting on the left, this goes into this pocket. I'm gonna have to put the camera down so I won't be able to do it with one hand. But uh, there is also, in the left pocket would go a waterproofing kit. It's not a big deal if you don't have one. However, if you can get one, it's a nice thing to have. So yeah, that's where your ointment eyeball and then waterproofing kit would go. And in the middle, we put our two covers. And those just go in the middle pocket right here. Gotta put my phone down. Make sure you get those guys all the way down in there. Nice and snug. And then, finally on the right, your opened one, your gas card, and your gas brassard goes in. Now the gas brassard, in order for it to fit, has to get folded up. So this is how you fold it. You flip it around, and you just fold it down, so it, it kind of, it just eliminates the light brown, and just, it's just the dark brown, right? And then from there, you fold it in half. And that allows it to fit in the thing so yeah then that goes in your right pocket set that down i recommend putting the uh brassard in first because it makes your life a lot easier 
because it is a little difficult to kind of get it in there. And then once you kind of have that slid in, like, once you kind of have it in like that, uh, putting in the cover, because it kind of sits in, just glides in, which is nice. Personally, I put the cover behind the uh, Rissard, but that's just me. And also go in the front, but it's whatever you'd like to do. Your bag, your mask. So yeah, once those guys are in, you just tuck the card in between the two. And yeah, so this is what it looks like as of now. Nice. Now, when you put this in, you're gonna want your canister down like this. When you're wearing the mask and if you were to take it out, you're too, like, because you wear the mask, you're supposed to wear the mask on your left. And on your left side. And when you have it on, the tube's going to be running out the side like that. And instead of it being on the ground, it'd be on your face, right? So you're going to want the canister on the straps facing to the right of the bag if you're looking into it. And then this is what I do with the mask. Uh, it ends up with the mask facing upwards. Right? Not to the side, but upwards. It gives you more space, and it's easier to grab. So you kind of snake the tube around here, and then set the mask on top of it. Like, on top of the tube and the canister. That saves a lot of space. And having some extra space is nice in case you want to throw an extra something in there. So, let me just get that done real quick. Because, again, it's hard to do with one hand. And then you should have something that looks like this. Uh, sometimes the tube can be a little stiff or it doesn't want to cooperate. Just work with it, you'll get it to work. And then finally, your M1 eye shields going behind that. As so, uh, I like to have it facing to the right. That way, you know, reach into the right like that. And then now we can snap it shut. Got the bag shut. Let me put this down. And this bag snaps shut. The bag is a little tight sometimes. It's a little tricky to snap shut sometimes. But you'll get it. You just gotta work with it. If you feel like something is gonna rip though, it shouldn't feel like that. You might just have to push some of the stuff on the inside down a little more. But yeah. You might only see it like this. When you're done, you're going to have a result that looks about like this. It'll kind of look like a square somewhat. Again, I'm missing the uh, waterproofing kit and the cover on here. I didn't realize it. it wasn't pushed down all the way, so it looks a little funky. This is about what you should have it look like. And yeah. Uh, your waist strap, if you're... A lot of guys cut the waist strap off, so you'll find a lot of the bags without the waist strap, like my earlier transitional one. That's been beat to hell. Uh, had the strap cut off. But if they didn't cut it off, what they would do is they would have the waistband thingy shortened to the shortest possible length. And then they'd run it through the uh, things on the lifted out snaps on the bag. But yeah, that is your lightweight gas mask bag. And how to pack it. Uh, hope this helps. And if you liked it, please leave a like. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or want to say anything. And yeah, uh, like and subscribe. Eagles out.